I found myself in front of a psychiatrist and I was diagnosed with major depressive disorder. I was prescribed medication for depression. And soon after, I started to see a therapist. And mind you, I've never sat down in front of somebody that I don't know and have been asked to tell them about myself. Like, I'm not used to that. I'm from a Jamaican household, and I was told that what happens in this house stays in this house. But now I'm sitting in front of a, somebody that I've never met. I don't know. I don't know their background. I don't know what they're going to do with this information. And I'm put in a position to share through vulnerability so that they can help me. It's about five sessions into it. We were sitting down. I'm in the couch. She's sitting in her couch and not a word was said. I'm like, I'm not saying nothing to this lady. I don't know her. <laughs> but I got to a point where I was like, well, if I'm going to get better, if I'm going to experience recovery, I will have to get to a point where I'm willing to sacrifice and do whatever it takes in order to get the help that I need. And I started to open up slowly but surely. And I started to get the help. What was the hesitation that kept me from asking for help when I needed it? And the answer to that question is stigma. Especially in the church. Like we have to come to church and we have to put this smile on. We have to come to church and we have to sing the songs when it's time to sing the songs. We have to greet each other. There's no point during the, during the service where we have a chance to really open up and be transparent, vulnerable, and let you know that, hey, I'm not doing well. This smile that you see, I put this on this morning before I came to church. One of the things that fuels stigma is shame. We are ashamed of being vulnerable. We are ashamed of feeling rejected. We are ashamed of what someone else may think of us. Judgment. We're afraid of judgment. What if I tell sister so-and-so or brother so-and-so that I'm not doing well? What if I tell them that my kids are acting up and it's now affecting my emotional wellness? What if I tell them the honest truth about what's going on at home? What are they going to think? What if they share my information? But Jesus is saying, do not judge. What if we all abided by that principle of non-judgment? How much more free would we feel coming into the house of God and sharing our vulnerabilities, being empathetic to what we're going through?